Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is scripting edition of our LZH Project video series and part two of our bash video. Okay, so in this video, we are going to write our first bash script. And if you remember from our previous video, I gave you some introduction uh, of uh, bash and some of the commands which we are going to use in future. So let's start with our first hello world program or hello, hello world script. So in order to write a script, uh, you will create a file. Uh, let's create our first script.sh. Well, extension is not necessary, but just to uh, make sure that you can recognize your scripts. Uh, it has a .sh extension, and it's just to differentiate your files. But uh, in Linux, extension means nothing. So vi first script.sh is going to be the file or our first script. Uh, okay, I press uh, insert, uh, I for insert. And if you remember, uh, in our previous video, we checked uh, our bash, uh, where it resides, it was uh, in bin bash. So that's how we start with these two. Uh, first, uh, the pound sign and then the exclamation mark or it's the bang it's known as the bang so the these two basically becomes shebang so it's the shebang header which is uh, basically telling where the ba uh, like the path of bash and it's in bin bash so this is the first line you'll start your bash script with okay please don't forget this otherwise it's not going to run so this the pound sign and the bang sign Basically, they are known as shebang. So you can just remember it as shebang or like shebang. So bin bash, then uh, you can write author, your name, okay, and the date uh, when the script was written. This is uh, these are just the formalities, but these this is a good practice actually. So it's like four thirtieth two zero fifteen. Okay, and now we start our first program. Echo. Hello world. And end. That's it. We just wrote our first program. Okay. Now to make it executable, you need to give it executable permission and it's chmod plus x. Without uh, this uh, plus x, it's not going to work. It makes it executable. And if you take ls hyphen ltr, uh, with the first script and you can see that the color changed and now there's an X so this means it's executable and how you can execute this you we have number of ways one is a dot forward slash and the name of the script and press enter and there it is it's saying hello world okay good the other is source, source and first script dot sh, same result. Okay. Okay. And that's it. This was our first script. Yeah. And there is one more way you can just sh and it will give you the same result. So three uh, things we have seen how we can run a script uh, you just need to make sure that it's executable okay so what about making our script a little complicated like a little more advanced vi for script so what we can do okay let's add a variable it's very simple we can say our variable greeting okay a variable like you can choose variable it can start with any word 
or an underscore so don't try to use a number um, in the starting and you can use uh, like small characters or like capitals but like it's up to you you can use capital characters some people prefer to use it small some people use uh, capital so let's let me tell you what I mean let me make it small greet okay now greet means hello world okay now instead of calling or writing full hello world here I can just call the variable okay and now let's see what will happen same thing okay so it's going to give us the same result so that's the use of variable so what else we can do um, let's add date okay Sorry about that. Okay, here's the date. What about if we like to add the time as well? You we can just go here. Okay, that's it. there you have there you go so we have the date we have the time and it's still printing the hello world okay and I think that's enough for today so hope to see you in our third video so thank you for watching please do subscribe to my youtube channel and like us on facebook it's Linux King 77 so thank you very much and God bless.